three, two, one, we're on. Hello everyone, uh, first interview in English, interview number two. I'm here with Asima, PhD in Aquatic Ecologic and Water Quality Management of Wageningen University. I think it's very interesting to know what, uh, what Asima can tell us about microplastics. So what's real and what's not real and uh, a bit of her, her personal thoughts and her, her preferences uh, about this, this amazing topic. So, well, uh, first question, mm -hmm. uh, in a general short way, mm -hmm. what are plastics and therefore microplastics? So plastics are m like everywhere you see it. You're using it every single time, you're even wearing it. So our clothes are made of synthetic fibers, so plastics are made of polymers that are um, man-made and okay. uh, then we, s we make it that is, uh, so that it's useful for our daily use. So like your plates, even the table, the chairs, your clothes, like I say, your shoes, your, your bottles and everything is made of plastic. And microplastics, just as the name implies, is microscopic. microscopic. So it only can be seen under the microscope. But there is an official definition by some marine science organizations that says that it's less than five millimeter. Five. So some are still within, uh, you can still see with your naked eye, but um, below a certain range, you cannot see them anymore. Right. Yeah, so wow. that's the small sizes. The yeah. small sizes yeah. of, of, uh, of the body. Well, I don't know, uh, when I was a kid, uh, yeah. many, ca many times I remember uh, there were like these banners uh -huh. where you could see like where a paper takes X time to sort of degrade. Degrade. Uh, and yeah. always, I, I was very amazed by how, how long plastic would take to, to sort of completely disappear. Yeah, there. I think degrade means like you try to break it down into its elements, like ah, into, its into elements. back into its uh, just carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. Right on. That's what they always say in like 10 million years, okay. for instance. Okay. So it's the definition of what do you mean by degrade. Okay. So maybe like paper can degrade really fast because they can dissolve, yeah. they can uh, they can disintegrate quickly and then they just yeah become its elements. Yeah. But for plastics, if really you go down into its elements, it says that it can be millions of years. Yeah. yeah, yeah? yeah. Wow. So, but degradation into microplastics it can occur really fast actually. Okay. With the sun, it can occur within weeks. Weeks. Yeah. Huh? Wow. Yeah. That's also so it depends on what you're really saying. Yeah. How, right? Why what you're saying? Like is it so, uh, how does microplastics affect the human health? Could we say it? How does it affect? Yeah. Okay, so there are two ways that we can um, like uh, consume it, either by inhalation or ingestion. So there are studies which have done a lot of um, literature review to mm. say like this is the amount of plastic particles we can breathe in and this is the amount that we actually can possibly eat or drink. And why are they doing this exposure uh, analysis is because um, when you're inhaling for instance, your lungs are not meant to actually have any particles. Okay. Just like uh, a smoker, you're not supposed to smoke particles. And, and then that can affect the lung cells and so on and all this very deep science, but it's fine. I'll yeah. just keep it very sure, short. Sure, 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 let's keep it short. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one, the ingestion. So it's the same theory like the lung cells. It, it can affect our stomach, our intestine. It can cause a rupture or if it's sharp or the, the lining may be inflamed from the plastic. It's a, it's a strange item. It's not food that it just doesn't digest. Sure. So then... Um, yeah, all this may affect human health, but um, of course we have a lot of, uh, also our body can uh, excrete sure. all of these particles, which That's are right. like, okay, they're strange, I'm just going to remove them. Yeah. So it's natural our body has a, such a system, but of course certain particles still manage to go through our That's membranes. Amazing. So now we, they are studying on how, how which size range can actually really impact our wow. human body? Yeah, so but the rest just goes out. Range, yeah, like yeah. 
I know a kid will swallow a toy. It's yeah. a common thing, and but true. they also just poop it out. True, true, true. In the that. same day, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. I remember also uh, <laughs> that when I was a kid, I would like yeah, swallow, swallow small legos and all this kind of thing. We just come out straight directly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And no big issue. And the kids are fine. And the kids are fine. Exactly. Yeah. Again. Microplastics, we can see it everywhere on the topic, right? Yeah. Plastic, microplastics. Yeah. Uh, at least from my previous experience, I've seen an increase in studies, I think even research. Mm -hmm. Research has always been done, yeah, don't yeah. get me wrong, but yeah. it's a, a bit of more... We see it on the news every day, mm -hmm. we see it on magazines, mm -hmm. we see front covers of... Uh, yeah. For people, eh? mm -hmm. for different people. Advertisements everywhere, yeah. How do we know what is true what is true and what is not true from your point of view of course humans are just built to always look at the bad stuff actually yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you notice so that's why publicity they love to target being negative so that they can attract a attention of Other all these people, people. Sure. yeah and and then they will skew everyone's minds about like oh how plastic is dangerous and and yeah so to know whether it's true or not it's your own belief if you tell yourself that, like, um, okay, let me let me stand back and really look at the words of the publicity, like the media. Sometimes they just put me. Me, yeah. And sometimes they put could. Could, true. All these words are, doesn't mean that it would. So <laughs> <laughs> this is English. Yeah, it's just, yeah. They're playing with, it's words. playing with words. They're all yeah. playing with words in in media, in advertisements, and everywhere. It's like true. just a play of words, and the public who who knows. To read, read, read between the lines, would know. Okay, actually, it only may, but it doesn't mean it is. Yeah, it is yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there are signs that really, like, very positive. They really see a very significant impact. Then we would say it, it is, it is, and it would, like, yeah. it would affect. Yeah. But there are a lot of studies that were just like, yeah, I'm still not sure. Then they would just always say potentially. Potentially, right? Yeah. May yeah. all these words you have to look out for the keywords yeah. in the uh, yeah, papers and. <laughs> what is your, what is for you the most complicated part of your daily work? My daily work. <laughs> of your daily work would. With your research, okay. and then we go to the positive one, the yeah. most rewarding. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure there are a lot of good moments. Yeah, there are so many complicated parts of my work, I think. Because, like I said before, plastic, microplastic is a trending research. It's a research that is going so crazy fast as compared to all other research in uh, different uh, fields. Because of the hype media, because the public wants to know, the organizations all want to know, is it really help, imp, like high, have a negative impact and all this kind of thing. So that adds on to pressure on the scientists. Oh, like, wow. It becomes like we are peer pressured to give them the answers quickly, whereas of course research takes a lot of time. Yeah. So then you're, you're b doing your, all your analysis based on a small number of results because you want to do it quick. Yeah. You cannot generate too much results when you do it quick, right? Wow. Then you're like, oh, am I doing this correctly? Am I informing the public the, the, the correct uh, answer and all this kind of thing? In the field of microplastics, the research is, was a bit chaotic in the past five years. Sure. Because it was hyped up and then everyone wanted to know a lot about it. And then it was uh, disarray, like everyone was just doing their own stuff quickly like okay I need to find out how to uh, check the microplastics concentration in this but then there is no method for it so they, are, they just made up their own method wow. so every lab just made their own method and then there's like a, a million labs out, out there in the, in the mm -hmm. world doing the same analysis but they, you can't compare because they're doing different ways yeah. yeah then you can't compare and then so what uh, all these data then they're not that useful anymore wow. So I think that's the complicated part because uh, for all this peer pressure and social pressure and then time. Yeah. And uh, the positive, I would say it's um, the most rewarding is that I like, I like to do something that uh, the society uh, can immediately see, um, okay, so this is the impact. So all my, um, my research is very, very connected to the uh, human health and also to the water quality so I immediately give them the results that True, this is yeah. what I find and 
this is neg it's, if it's negative, I will tell them it's negative. If it's positive, then I will tell them it's positive yeah. impact. And and then I feel it's very relatable because I also want to know. Yeah. Yeah. And then I would love to have more publicity to like inform people of the true impact and not like just uh, the. Percept, like how to say, perceived impact. Yeah, yeah. perceived impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Perceived <laughs> impact. Yeah, yeah if people perceive it's negative, then it's a, it will be it a negative impact. A, yeah, yeah, it right. becomes negative. Yeah, yeah. So based on your daily work, mm -hmm. again, <laughs> what's your major concern about microplastics for Asima, for you? What's my major concern yeah. about microplastics? I mean. We have always been walking around and see all these dust particles. I don't know, in winter time especially with your sweater. So as soon as you sweep it off, all these particles are just in the air. Yeah. And I didn't think that um, microplastics can affect humans so much. Yeah. Because, yeah, it has always been there. I mean, long time ago, people have already been wearing clothes, using plastics. and. And they have uh, they have lived for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not like they're dying very quickly just because they breathed in a bit more fibers or a bit more plastics, or swallow them even. So I would say, in conclusion, my my concern won't be more won't be for the humans. It's more like the humans should change our behavior yeah. towards plastic and towards using the plastic, and the industries too. They should start changing their the way they design products so that we are able to recycle them instead uh, of those just single use and you throw it away yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the the second concern would be yeah the main main concern would be more of the uh, organisms in the water which are suffering because of our pollution our yeah there's a lot more pollution in the ocean than just plastics also but yeah plastic True. is one of the major ones now True. yeah we have oil, water, so much. Yeah, we start so much ocean pollution. Right? Yeah, it's insane. So, I think the bigger animals, like the whales yeah. and all this, uh, you see plastic pollution affecting them. Fish. The turtles. That's really that's the big ones. I don't know about the small ones even. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah because at the end, it's you uh, cannot really see the small ones. It's a traffic yeah, what's web, happening. right? Yeah, and we see that it, yeah. if it impacts it. It's there. It's so, yeah. Okay, so perfect, yeah. Asima. Uh, again, thank yeah. you very much. Look, Happy this is a fiber. Yeah, I think. I think it's from um, <laughs> I don't want to. I think it's, it's one from us. <laughs> Probably from my sweater. Or something. <laughs> funny, funny fact, you know. Yeah. Speaking about the uh, small gonna, fibers. We're not dying. No, no, no. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So well, uh, guys, uh, thank you very much uh, for your time, people, to everyone who's watching. Uh, again, uh, Asima, thank you for your time. Yeah. Can we mention uh, oh. some of your work for other people? That they can read or social media or somewhere we could just uh, mention yeah we do have you? a twitter page it's twitter called page. microplastic lab microplastic lab yeah so i'll write it down it's a yeah i will okay let you know okay and perfect you can follow us there's uh, all our news and uh, what we are doing in the in the in the lab and also our research we are trying our best to reach out to more like citizens than of just uh, the scientists. Of so course. the way we write things is probably more for the easier, uh, easier to society understand. to understand. For all yeah. of us. Yeah. Sure. Thank you very much. Totally appreciate it. Repeat it again. What was it? Microplastic Lab. Microplastic <laughs> Lab on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter <page>. Right. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. High Thank five. You. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>